What is going on G's? Welcome back to another video. So hopefully you guys saw yesterday's video that, well I filmed it yesterday, but it was posted today. Yesterday was quite eventful. We ended up taking the exhaust off of Kyle's car, so it's running open headers now. And he's got long tube four to one headers, so that thing screams. Um, check out the video if you haven't seen it. I fell into four feet of swamp water, uh, all the way up to my waist in mud. And it was great. Um, shout out to Kyle again for letting me come over to his house after that happened and take a shower and get my clothes all cleaned up. Seriously, I don't know what I would do without you, man. I'm serious. But today, we're heading back over to Kyle's house and we've got a turbo BMW that we're checking out. Uh, he's loading some tunes on it and we're just gonna see where the day takes us. So let's get a cold start in the Mercedes and we're gonna be on our way over to Kyle's house. So I don't really want to give away too much information just yet on what we're going to see because I don't really know what it is I'm going to see. Um, shameless plug right now, if you guys like the hat that says my car took all my money, you can get that on my shop now. Um, I also have hoodies and beanies, we've also got polo shirts if you're looking for something a little bit more nice, um, you know, dress up style, like you'd wear it to a nice car meet or something. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested though, please check it out by all means, it helps me make these videos and of course I want you guys to wear something nice too, I wouldn't sell you guys crappy stuff. These hats are amazing and the quality is just unmatched. If you guys are interested in that, please check it out. I'll link my shop in the description. Uh, but let's do a little bit of a... having a little bit of a misfiring issue. Um, we're not sure what it is, but we're gonna reflash the tune once we pull over here and see if that fixes it at all. Um, if not, we get to start tearing stuff apart and looking at it, so yay. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, we're having some issues. <laughs> Are your oil packs more concerned about the plugs or maybe your injector plugs? show you what we came to see and it's it's sick I mean it's sick
Oh, you guys are getting shit for free. You need the ribs. What do you mean? I used the same. Logan literally gave me a template and it didn't you work. You need that that uh, that company Riz oh, to be able to get stuff for free. I got the cutouts for free. This Shout out Turtle awesome. Wax for giving me. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so they've flashed on the new tune and they're letting it idle right now just to see how it idles, see if there's anything wrong with it. Um, but honestly, it sounds good. So I'm not quite sure what revision they're on here, or how close they are to driving it. So I'll update you guys once I figure that out. So we made a little stop, uh, we got down the road and same yeah, same codes. And bank one and two. Yep. So Kyle's car got a check engine light, and it's saying bank one and bank two systems are lean. So it could be a multitude of things, um, but we're gonna. He's gonna try and reflash it and just see what happens, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna just head back and see how it drives, and hopefully it's something easy and not too difficult or expensive to fix. So while Kyle's inside getting his dad, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this real quick. So he, we took all of his exhaust off, if you guys saw yesterday's video, and it threw a check engine light for bank one and bank two reading lean. So immediately my mind went to intake or injectors, um, and after thoroughly checking the injectors with the old school method with a screwdriver in the ear, it looks like uh, the passenger rear injector, so I'm assuming cylinder eight, is not firing at all, so I'll show you guys which one. So out of all these four injectors right here, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, that one's completely dead. There's no noise, no ticking. So usually what I'm looking for is I will take this screwdriver and I'll put it right onto the end of the injector here, and then you stick your ear right there. And you listen, there should be a and if it's a completely even ticking, your injectors are fine. However, that back injector is not making any noise whatsoever, which tells me it's either clogged, or we could potentially be dealing with a bad injector as well. Shout out to Bradenton Performance Supply. I've never been in there before, and shout out to Kyle for taking me in there. Yes, sir. But that place is sick. I think you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of them in the videos. Uh, definitely gonna be taking a lot more of my money. So stay tuned for that. Absolute life saver. Little update. So we went to Bradenton Performance Supply. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to cut that one out. <laughs> we went to Bradenton Performance Supply and ended up getting some fuel injector cleaner. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hopefully see if that stuff works. He just got gas yesterday, so it might be a little strong for how much gas is in there, but whatever, it'll work fine. He missed it. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in Mercedes. We got fuel injector cleaner in Kyle's car, and we are going for a little test drive right now just to work that fuel injector cleaner in, and then I told him he's gonna have to check all of his injectors again after that drive to see if there's any improvements. It should work, I hope. It's only one injector that's clogged. It's not all of them, or you know, two, three, four. It's just one. So I'm hoping that it will release whatever's in there. Fingers crossed.
Alrighty, so we made a quick little trip to Publix. Um, got that injector cleaner in Kyle's car and we drove around for a little bit. It seems to be doing all right, although his cylinder eight injector is definitely clogged. Uh okay, so we took Kyle's car to an exhaust shop and had them examine it and check it out. And it turns out that his O2 sensors are about an inch and a half from the opening where his header's cut out, meaning they're reading fresh air every time that engine goes into its compression stroke. So, it's causing the engine to think that it's running lean, even when it's not, so it's dumping excess fuel in to try and compensate, hence the backfires that he was getting. So, he's got an appointment Friday, he's going to have them extend those pipes 12 inches, so those O2 sensors stop reading fresh air. And I just wanted to get on here and clarify that with you real quick, because it's not an issue with his injector. Although his injector was clogged, we added a little bit of Lucas fuel injector cleaner, and it cleared it right up. on the test. Nice. So it's gonna have well, an so it's gonna it's gonna have an ignition system with the nozzle. It's using uh, twin pumps. So uh, we're gonna have like twin uh, fuel pumps feeding it. So we should have a good 20, 30 foot of flames shooting out the back end of uh, nice. each one of these. So. What kind of um, fluid are you using to light on fire? Is it Thus far, our testing has been with just straight gasoline because really? we've actually got an actual flamethrower. Is the company that was sponsoring this? It's called Exothermic Industries. Okay. And uh, they were awesome enough to hook us up with one of their uh, machines, which we've kind of broken down to feed this thing. But yeah, it's a good 25, 30 foot flame, and uh, we're going to experiment. You know, some FX companies, people use like Pullman lighter fluid and gasoline because we're trying to recreate the original scene from Back to the Future, so we kind of want something that lingers a little bit, but not go. something that like destroys the asphalt. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to experiment, but it will officially be the world's only flame throwing Tesla. That's we put the bumper. We put the wheels on it. OBD2 adapter that links with the accelerator pedal, so as you drive oh, so it, as you, you, drive it all, oh, that's you can so throttle really. it whatever you, sound, whatever you want. And I think this is where I'm going to end today's video, boys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for supporting the channel and being there. Uh, don't forget, my car took all my money. Merch is now live. I'll tag my shop. And go get yourself something nice. We've got all sorts of stuff. With all that said, Thank you again for watching today's video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.